Hello everyone, this is Jospec Network TV bringing to you more accurate news from all around the world. Please kindly subscribe to our channel if you are yet to do so and if you have done so we say thank you. Now to the news. IPOB nam the Kano tender fresh request before US Department of State. Nam the Kano the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB the leader has tendered a request before the U.S. Department of State. What do you think? Do you think he um, is on the right course? Do you think he's on the right track? And um, why do you really think he is doing that? Why do you think um, he's not in the country? You know, to really do all those things, but he's. Is sending sending messages from outside the country to Nigeria or from outside the country to all other nations. Do you think he's doing the right thing? Because the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, his name is Nam Dekano, has called on the United States, the Department of State, and international community to rise up and stop the killings of Christians, which pre President um, Trump himself has come out to really condemn. You know, he sent a strong uh, word to the to Nigerian populace and to the Nigerian leaders about it, you know, and um, Namde Kanu is doing the same thing right now. You know, he's really, you know, just to buttress what is really going on in the country, he sent a fresh request to the Department of State in America concerning this particular case. You know, he reports that the, um, the, the, all the shady things that they want to really turn Nigeria to, into a Muslim state, you know, by, by attempting to really create um, anxiety into people's mind, you know. So that is why he really sent this particular message or request to the Department of State. So what do you think about it? What do you what is your own take concerning this particular uh, what he did? You know, is he on do you think he's on the right track? Do you think he's going to really make headway? What do you really think? You know? Because what is really happening in Nigeria is um, is uncalled for. It's really uncalled for. You know, we've been saying it day in, day out. That our governments and our leaders, are not, they are not doing enough. They are not doing enough. You know, just in one community again in Kaduna State, something terrible happened there again. And um, which is not supposed to be happening in a civilized society you know it's not supposed to be happening in, in, in a civilized society but it's happening it's happening in nigeria so it means that things are not really working you know you can't go out you can't travel without thinking twice you know you can't go to the market without thinking twice you can't go to your workplace without thinking twice you know so and is becoming unbecoming. Is becoming unbecoming, in a country that has that has a leader, in a country that has governors, in a country that has ministers, senators, you know, in a country that has um, the, the military manpower and everything, police, that all these things are is still happening, you know, and um, they they are not able to do anything concerning it. You know, and this is not the first time. It, this has been going on for forever. 
I remember in, in Kaduna State, it has been going on forever, 1960, 1970, 1980, 1990, it has been going on. It's just that this one now is becoming unbecoming because it, it's just getting too much. It's just getting too much. And um, I think we should really thank Inam Dekanu, you know, for his job well done that he's doing. I think now he's really more interested in the well-being of Nigerians than what he's that is than than his first um intentions, you know. Now he's really really doing the work that God called him to do. That is what I think about him. You know, you know, being the voice for the voiceless, being a voice for, for the voiceless, you know, because I don't really expect him to, to even say something concerning all these people who he's, he's mentioning, you know, he mentioned Leah, you know, he mentioned a lot of things, the school girls, you know, the 110 school girls, he mentioned them, you know, he mentioned all the atrocities, all the things happening in, in Nigeria, you know. So I think I commend him for doing this because now I think he's realizing that it needs to really be a voice, you know, for the voiceless, you know. I really commend him. I commend his strength. I commend his courage, you know, for really coming out to 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 say all these things he's saying because you know formally he calls nigerians the zoo he did this and it, you know but i think for now he's coming out to really we all carry the same blood all our uh, the blood in our vein is is red Every, everybody's blood is red so it means that we, we are forced for for a human you know so now he's coming out to be a voice for the voiceless, which I will tell you the fact. I am happy he's doing this not right now. I'm happy he's doing this right now, even though he's not in Nigeria to really, to really you know come out to make a protest or something like that. At least he's using all the medium he knows to ch channel. Uh, his um his opinion you understand to really say look this, this are wrong that is wrong this is right this is not right you know i really commend him seriously i really commend him because seriously nigeria is just i don't know what will become of nigeria in the next five years i'm telling you if something is not done and done quickly I don't know. The, the leaders, they really need to call themselves together and do something about it. And all these issues is coming from the northern part. You know, all these things we are talking about is coming from the northern part. You know, they keep drawing us back. They keep drawing us back all the time. All the time. All the time. And any society, any country, you know, any community that lives in fear cannot survive they can't even develop not to talk of surviving you know because you'll be afraid to even develop your community you know so it is high time the leaders really sit down together come up with a solution you know so that everybody will be at peace again you know we really need to be at peace so that is my own take concerning this particular news. I think he's doing a great job. I think he's doing marvelous things, you know, becoming a voice to the fatherless, to the motherless, to the voiceless, you know, to the poor. So I think he's doing a great thing, you know. He has to really pay, you know, a, a great deal of... um. Of, 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 um, of things 
you know, he, his parents died, he couldn't even come, he couldn't attend the parents' burial, which is very, 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 very sad. But, I mean, he's fighting a cost just, and I think those are some of the things you go through when you're fighting a, go, a cost just, um, cost, a, a just cost. So, wherever he is, we pray for him, we wish him well, and we wish Nigeria well. So, I believe he's doing well, and I believe for him to really come out, to, to become a voice to all these people, I commend him. I, I don't know about you, what do you feel, you know? Let's hear your comments. Your comment is important to us about this particular news. And please, once again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're yet to do so. And if you have done so, we say thank you. Bye.